This is a saobing youtiao, which is essentially fried bread in bread, a bread sandwich if you will. It's a common breakfast item in northern China and shows just how much people here love their wheat. Other dishes in this region include black bean noodles, jianbing, and fluffy pork buns. Today, we're heading to northeastern China and focusing on the food of Beijing, Tianjin, and Shandong. The region's cuisine is known in Chinese as lu cai, and it's the food of old Chinese royalty. Chinese food is more than just stir fry, noodles, and dumplings. I'm Clarissa, and I'm taking you on a journey through China to try authentic Chinese food region by region. Lu Cai or Lu Cuisine is the last of our four main regions of Chinese cuisine. Technically speaking, Lu Cai refers to the food of Shandong Province. It's a cooking style that eventually spread to the neighboring cities of Beijing and Tianjin. Wheat is a dominant carb in this part of China because it doesn't get all that much rain. A popular breakfast item here is Yu Tiao, a deep fried wheat cooler that can actually now be found everywhere in China. Another big breakfast item here is the jianbing, a crepe made with mung bean flour. Buns and noodles are other staples here. The buns are usually leavened with yeast so that they're fluffy and soft. For the noodles, there's zha jiang mian, noodles topped with sweet and salty black bean sauce, ground meat, sliced cucumbers, and bean sprouts. Then there's fresh handmade noodles, which can be served in beef or lamb noodle soup. This region is close to Inner Mongolia, so there's a huge supply of beef and sheep. That's why you'll find a lot of meat in northern Chinese cuisine. But the emblematic meat dish of this region is Beijing roast duck, sometimes called Peking duck. But did you know it actually came from the south? Here's the story. Roast duck was a popular dish in Hanzhou, which is the capital of China over 800 years ago. Hanzhou in the south is surrounded by lakes and rivers, making it a natural breeding ground for ducks. When the country's capital moved north to Beijing during the 13th century, roast duck went with it and quickly became a favorite among royals. It's remained a palace staple ever since. Northern Chinese food is also known for its love for wild game. During the Qing Dynasty, it became popular because the Manchu rulers loved hunting. They would hunt for deer, mutton, rabbit, and pheasants. Deer in particular was so prized that herds of them were rounded up from across the country and brought within the perimeters of the emperor's hunting grounds south of Beijing. Imperial cuisine sourced ingredients from all over the country, such as lychee from Guangxi and tofu noodles and ham from Jiangsu. The region's proximity to the ocean also means lots of seafood. You'll find braised sea cucumber and deep-fried yellow croaker on the dinner table. There's also Spanish mackerel, which is minced and wrapped into dumplings. Proximity to the sea also means lots of salt, and this region's cuisine is probably the saltiest in the country. Dishes tend to be seasoned with lots of salt, garlic, and green onions. As for dessert, there's a deep love for maltose, a sugar derived from grains, which the North has plenty of. The sugar is used to caramelize things like sweet potatoes and apples. Lu cuisine is comfort food at its finest. Greasy, salty, and very hearty. Up next, we'll be going for a food tour in Beijing and then go to Tianjin to learn how to make pork buns. Stay tuned.